Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. On my continuing Caden Live tutorial series, today I'm going to be talking about timelines and how to group clips. Now, if you are used to doing video editing, then the whole idea of project timelines are nothing new. But for people who are brand new to video editing, how a timeline or project usually works is this is your whole project. And within here, this is your actual project timeline. And within here, you can actually add multiple tracks. And so you can have multiple items within your project. And the way you actually add clips is you could actually just go up here, add a clip, and you would choose whatever clip you want, whether that is video, audio, or image, and just add it right here to your project. And then to actually bring the actual item down to your project, all you have to do is just drag it down here. Okay, so you could just drag multiple items on different tracks. So that's really how you do it. It's very simple and you can move things around. So let's go ahead and go over the actual interface that we have here in Caden Live. Uh, starting with the fact that you can actually insert or delete more tracks. So all you have to do is right click on your mouse and you can insert a track. And from here, you could either add a video track which is also an image. You could add an image in here as well, or an audio track, okay? And you could put it above, below, or under. And see, you could tell it where you want to put it. So that's how you would do that. You just insert a track. So let's go ahead right there. So I said I wanted it above video one. Very simple. You want to delete it, just right click on your mouse, delete track. And now it's gone. And then in your actual project timeline your, itself, you can actually zoom in, okay? And then you can zoom out. You could also use these quick toggles right here. You could do smaller tracks. So say that you have a smaller monitor, you could do that and it'll actually zoom out so you can see your whole project. Or you could zoom in to have a lot closer look. Or you could use right here the zoom feature right here. Or if you're in a scenario where, say, you are scrolled in really close on your project and you're like, man, I just want to get back to the normal view, you could go down here, fit zoom to project, and there it is. So that's how you do that. And there's also some other features when you right click on your mouse. You could also do select all in current track. So this track right here, it selects everything. So say you had multiple things here, it is select this whole track. You could also select all, which selects your entire project. Or you could right click and go to configure tracks. Now this right here, I think there is a bug because before you could actually move your track up, down, and also add a track right through this menu. But now the only features that I have is to delete and uh, also to reset. So. This did work before in Kaden Live, so I'm thinking this is a bug. I've tried many different things, but unfortunately, it hasn't worked. So uh, hopefully with future updates, that'll be fixed. But that's what that's for. And then going back to your tracks, what you could do is you could also disable the audio in the track. And so no audio would play when you actually run this. Or you could also disable the entire video in the track as well. So let's just say have my mouse right there and now I say disable video and now the video is not going to play in that track. So now let's move to something that uh, it's kind of weird at first because I didn't understand why it didn't work but it all has to do with the positioning of your tracks. So say for example I have this clip right here right and I'm playing this and now what I actually want to do is I want to put a transition between this video and this video. So let's go ahead and zoom in closer. So I want to put a transition between the two videos. So I'm going to go ahead and put a simple dissolve right there. And now if you look really closely, you see it dissolves. It just fades in, right? That's the dissolve effect. But here's the weird thing. You might notice this yourself. If you move this up to the next track, right? And the thing is, it's basically the same position. It's just in a different track. But now if you actually play it, you know, there's, there's no transition. It just goes from actually one clip to another. The reason is 
there's nothing below this track. It's it's absolutely black. That's why that's a curse. And that's something that I didn't realize at first. Whereas if you had all this track, there's nothing else below it except this video. And that's why the transition works. You see that? <laughs> but if there was actually something underneath this, okay, like right now there's nothing underneath it. So no transition effect shows. But if you actually had another video or an image clip, it will work. So here, I'll move it over here. Okay. So now you see this transition work. See, it just fades in into the next clip. So that's something that uh, it took me a while to figure out. I was like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> but that's how that works. So if you don't have anything underneath your actual track, the whole transition won't work unless you're on the bottom track and there's no other video or image clip below it. So that's a little tip right there. And now let's go ahead and get to grouping. So let's say, for example, you had a whole bunch of clips and you wanted to group them together, meaning that if you move one, it'll move multiple together. So why would this be helpful? Well, let's say, for example, you had a video clip, right? And then you actually edit the audio separately to clean the audio. But now you want to sync things up, okay? So let's just assume here your original video. I'm going ahead and just only have the video. And now I want to be sure that the audios are synced up. So how would you do that? Well, the easiest way to do is group it. So if you click on it, one clip, and then control, hold control, and then click on the next one. Now both are selected. Now all you have to do is right click, group clips. So what this will allow you to do is move the entire thing as if it was one clip. This is really important if you have multiple clips you want to keep together, or in this case, you want to be sure that your audio is synced up with your video. It could be a real big problem if you're moving one, but the other one's not moving with it. So that's a really powerful feature. I use this a lot. And if you want to ungroup the clip, all you have to do is right click and ungroup, and now they are separated again. So that is a really quick and simple tutorial on how project timelines work, the various tracks and features, and how to group and ungroup clips. So if you had any thoughts on this, whether you had your own different tips on doing this, or maybe you had some thoughts on how I did it, be sure to leave that in the comments area below. And if you actually did want to see my Kaden Live tutorial series, I will also leave the playlist in the description area below as well. So as always, if you did get value out of these videos, be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey geeks, if you are a creative geek like me and you wanted to learn how to create content on YouTube and other places on the internet, then check out my Go Content Creators Group where you'll get access to 30 videos plus additional content for all the creative geeks out there. And the best part of it is, all of this is free. Simply head over to the link below, check out my page, and sign up for my Go Content Creators Group. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the other side. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.